As a content creator your job doesn't end when you finish recording and editing your video because the hardest part for some is yet to come, creating the thumbnail. However, one important thing that many content creators overlook is testing multiple thumbnails or A-B testing. Welcome to the Flixier channel where we aim to help content creators like you create more videos faster and better. Recently YouTube announced that we will finally have the ability to test two thumbnails and see which one performs forms better directly in YouTube Studio. This is fantastic news considering that until now you could only do this manually or through an application like TubeBuddy. The problem is that this feature is only available to a small portion of content creators and for the rest this feature will be available only from 2024. So you probably don't want to wait until then to see if you can improve your thumbnails. We often plan a video in advance, write a captivating and excellent script, film and edit the video and everything seems perfect. However, after publishing it, we realize that we have a very low click-through rate, which can be frustrating because no matter how good the video is, people won't watch it if they don't click on your thumbnail. The most well-known and experienced content creators on YouTube like MrBeast or Ryan Tran plan to create the thumbnail in advance before filming. However, even at their level, the initial thumbnail can sometimes be a complete failure. For example, if you follow Ryan Tran, you've probably heard of the series I survived on a sand for 30 days which was one of the most popular series on YouTube. After releasing the first video, it didn't perform well at all. In fact, it was one of Ryan's worst performing videos, and that was due to the thumbnail. The thumbnail Ryan initially used didn't always look like this. Initially, the thumbnail looked like this. A few hours after the release, Ryan and his team were desperate because the video was at the 10th position with a CTR below 5%. This happened because the background of the thumbnail was black and for those using dark themes it didn't stand out. That's why he changed the black background to one with green grass and turned the yellow shirt white. After these minor changes, both the video and the series became one of the most popular on his channel. Because the background was changed, it became much easier to spot and distinguish regardless of whether viewers use the dark theme or a light theme which helped increase the CTR. But here we're talking about a pro YouTuber. How can you tell if the thumbnail is good or not? Well the simplest method is to analyze the average CTR on your YouTube channel and see which video has the highest CTR. This way you'll know the average and the best performing thumbnail so far. After you launch a video, you can analyze the data in YouTube Studio to see its CTR. This will help you determine if the thumbnail is good or bad. However, let's say you want to change the thumbnail and see if it performs better than the previous one. After changing the thumbnail, we recommend waiting at least 24-48 hours to draw some conclusions. After that time, you can go to YouTube Studio, select the video for which you changed the thumbnail, go to analytics then advanced mode. On the right side go to compare and select the same video then keep the views by content tab selected go to more metrics and choose impression click through rate. Next select the date for the first thumbnail covering the period when you used it and for the second thumbnail select the date from when you changed it. This way you can make a side by side comparison to see if your new thumbnail is better. However keep in mind that in the first few hours the initial thumbnail may have a slightly higher click through rate because your subscribers are the first one to receive notifications about your video and that can influence the CTR. Here are a few additional tips to consider when optimizing your thumbnail. Experiment with the layout. Try different images, text placements, colors and design elements to see which combination resonates the best with your audience. Play around with different arrangements and find the layout that grabs attention and communicates the essence of your video effectively. Optimize for mobile. Keep in mind that a significant portion of viewers watch YouTube videos on mobile devices. Ensure that your thumbnails are visually appealing and legible on smaller screens. Test the thumbnail's visibility and clarity on mobile devices before conducting the A-B test. Analyze competitors. Take the time to analyze successful creators in your niche and identify common patterns or elements that resonate well with their audience. While you should strive to be unique, gaining insights from competitors can help you understand what works and adapt those strategies to your own thumbnails. Another option is to use an application like TubeBuddy, which allows you to perform A-B testing and offers more advanced features like Thumbnail Analyzer, 
With Tunnel Analyzer, you can take advantage of AI-generated heat maps that mimic the human eye. This enables you to see which parts of your thumbnails are capturing the most attention and which parts are being overlooked. I hope this video helped you understand the importance of thumbnails and the significance of A-B testing. Remember, the goal is to create thumbnails that not only capture attention but also accurately represent the content of your videos. A visually appealing and engaging thumbnail can significantly improve your CTR and ultimately lead to more views and engagement. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our other videos for more tips and tricks to enhance your content creation career. Until next time, happy editing!